What's up, what's up? I'm Jamie Gilmore. And we're on another episode of EL2A Podcast. Oh, uh, yeah, y'all see, we got us a name now. No, hey, we got a name. You know, by the time me and Eddie finally sat down, we came up with a name. So, as you heard, EL2A Podcast exposure leads to access. So, if you heard before, we say that we say that term before. Um, what we do with cut different all the time, we say let exposure lead you to access. So, let me break that down for you. Once you get exposed to something, you start asking questions about it. Once you start asking questions, you find a way to find, um, gain access. So let exposure lead you to access. So this is our new name. Um, be looking forward to us uh, getting logos for this podcast, putting more merch out for this podcast. We're going to do it bigger than ever. Um, this is our baby. Um, we, we take pride in this podcast. So EL2A podcast. Um, but let's uh, get into it. So as you can see, uh, we got a new face um, on the podcast. Some of you may know who he is. This is Tony McCall. Um, just for me, I'm gonna break down who Tony is to me. This is a uh, third to our uh, to our trio. What we have going on at Cut Different. Um, you haven't seen his face, but he's been a pivotal part of to what we've been doing behind the scenes. So we're so glad to have Tony. Um, Tony. Um, oh, just for me, you know, Tony's been a pivotal part of my life. Um, even when you know, growing up, being that coach. Um, in the Marion County area, I'm pretty sure you know, have heard of him. Um, he was my coach. He helped me train when I got out of school, was trying to, uh, take my, take my talents to the professional level. Um, so Tom has done a lot for me. So, uh, even with Cut Different, I appreciate him jo- um, being a part of our team. And, um, yeah, this is Tony. So Tony, man, we're glad to have you. So tell, tell us a little about yourself. Tell us, um, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. You know, so talk about, you know, your part here at Cut Different and, and, and just, you know, how you feel about the journey we've been on. All right. Well, I uh, thank you all very much. Um, one for considering me early on uh, when I got the call from Jamie to, to, to be a part of this. I really didn't know the extent um, in, in the role that I would play. Uh, but for the most part, my role uh, here at Cut Different has been a little bit of everything. Um, helping with the creative side, uh, helping with the logistics, setting up um, the, the, the locations in some cases for the kids to meet, things like that. Um, using my little uh, access uh, <laughs> network and, and social media uh, space to um, try to expose us to even more people who um, want to help us support. So right. uh, definitely, guys, I really appreciate you all for sure. uh, allowing me into the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for sure. So um, so what we're doing, we're special. it's a special uh, moment right now. Uh, as Well, you don't know, but we're down in Orlando right now. So what we're doing, we're wrapping up our summer. Um, as we, we talked about it before on the podcast, we, we just ended our summer mentorship program. So what this is, is our cut different lock-in. So right now, we're, we're down at, in a, at a resort. Um, down in the Disney era in Orlando. So we got our kids here in the room. Um, we got Tony here. So it, it's, it's about to be a great podcast. We're going to bring the kids on and we're going to let them, you know, get exposed to being on the podcast and, and getting this experience. Um, cause like we say all the time, we, we let exposure lead you to access. So we're going to expose these kids to the podcast, um, format, the layout of what goes on. Month, one day they may have their own podcast. We don't know exactly. the what, just what do we just here. We're here to spark change. We're here to spark the next future leaders. So we're, we're putting them in front of uh, the most important people we can and gave, giving them access to the things that, you know, we didn't have a chance to do. So it may spark change in them. So I go ahead. Say, you know, just how, just how crazy, man. Just think back to when we were nine and 10 years old. Right. You know, we right, didn't right. have this, you know, for us in order to, to, yeah. to succeed or just to be exposed to those different mm-hmm. things. We got to those things later on in life. So just think how, think how you know, how beneficial it's going to be to the, to the youth that we're, that we're reaching. So I think this is definitely big, something that we definitely will continue to grow mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, and I, I think um, given our backgrounds, we all were um, pursuing of our goals. For sure. uh, we were dreamers. We, we were wishers. We, we were guys who would go out and work hard mm-hmm. uh, and pursue our passion with sports. Mm-hmm. So once again, I, I just think back to, um, I was talking to maybe Jamie um, the other day, if, if, if I would have just one person in my <laughs> life to uh, kind of spark the difference and, and to uh, touch on some of the things that we're talking about now with these kids, mm-hmm. There's no telling where where I could have been, and, and sure. I, I got pretty far yeah, uh, with my yeah, athletic yeah. career. So yeah, and, and, academics. and being a little humble right now, but uh, <laughs> but we'll, we'll we'll definitely get into that. Now, man, um, like I say, this is gonna be a fun co- podcast. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So we're gonna get right into it. So our, our folks today is gonna be exposure. That's the uh, topic of this podcast, exposure. So it's the, like I say, it's the end of the summer. So we're gonna break down the exposure that we've given these kids from the time we started in late June. I remember the date until now. We've been with them. 
um, I think a total of six. Well, we, we put 16, but we don't went, we, we have went more than 16, uh, however many weeks that is. But we, like I said, we're going to, we're going to bring them on, ask them about their experience. But before we even get into that, we're going to talk about why we even focus on experience. What's the importance of, exp um, I mean, exposure. I'm sorry. So what's the importance of, of, of exposure in our lives? And I can, um, even start this conversation off. When me and uh, Eddie first sat down and we started talking about cut different and we gave it a name and we just start honing into or diving deep into cut different. One thing that set apart than any other thing we have done in life, the things we have been exposed to. So um, having a student athlete background for myself, um, I really, you know, I had a, a, a great bringing up. I had great parents and so my parents have always been in my life and they did things. We went on trips in the summer. Like that was the thing. Every summer you go on a trip. But we would go, we were from Florida. So you go to Orlando. Um, sometimes we, uh, went to Atlanta, you know, go to the beach all the time. I think the furthest I ever been was, um, Atlanta, you know, outside of high school. But then when I started getting high school, started getting recruited. Now I'm in Texas. Now I'm in North Carolina. Now I'm in all these different places. So now football, this little game football that I have loved all my life, it has exposed me to all these different things in my life and brought me to, all these different places. So now I'm meeting different people. This is exposure. I'm getting exposed to different things, but football is that key. So, okay. So now I'm a student athlete. I'm getting recruited. I'm going on visits. I'm getting on a plane for the first time, first time. jumping on the plane, exposure. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, now I'll say, okay, I can do this. Like this, this me, I like this. Uh, you know, walking by, see people in the front row, the uh, front first class is like, okay, what I got to do to get there? I'm getting exposed to these things. Um, so now, you know, going off to school and playing collegiate football, that opened up a whole different network to me. I'm in Philadelphia, the, one of the biggest cities in, um, in the U.S. So that was a big, being from Ocala, Florida, small town, going there, that was a big culture shock for me. So it's like I'm in a whole different world. I'm in Philly. You got New York right here. You got Jersey. You got Delaware. You got Bal um, Maryland, Baltimore, D.C. All this in, within our drives. I'm, I'm, and I'm in these different cities, and I'm seeing how these cities are maneuvering. But this is all exposure, and I say this to say I learn how different people talk. Oh. I learn how different people move, what yes. they dress. You know, I learn different languages, different yeah. slang terms. So now I'm more culturally like, uh, what a culturally, whatever the word I'm aware. looking for, aware, uh, culturally aware of different things. So now when I hear stuff in movies or different, um, different music and I hear these terms, I can pick up on it. I can pick up on these things. I expose myself to different things. So exposure has been so key to me. So now when I come back to little, and then I went, uh, just even further than that, I, I did my graduate work in Illinois, in Chicagoland area. So I, I, I'm aware of Chicago. I've been in Chicago. I've been in these areas. So now when I come back here to little Ocala, Marion County area, it's like, I have learned so many things, you know, from my trips in the world and I'm able to bring it back here. And my thing is, and what I have passion for, I want to put all the things I went out to the world and bring it back to the youth in our community. Um, give this game, give this game to them, give everything I have important to it. So this is what the KD, these KDs you see on this hat, that's just what that stand for. And you know, that's the topic of this podcast. So I like, um, I guess we can, whoever, uh, we'll go Eddie. We'll let Eddie let, uh, tag in a little bit. So just tell us a little about, you know, disposer, um, what exposure done for you and the importance of exposure. So we, we all know for the ones that, you know, just now started following us, I'm, I'm the oldest. I might, I might not look like that. I am. <laughs> so I was the first one off to college and I can give you the same, I can give you the same run on the same track as far as being, going out to a new city and, and getting on the plane for the first time. I'm afraid to fly because that was the first time I've been on the plane going off to, to, um, uh, a college just just to experience what the college level will be like but just taking it to another level i did the whole college uh the whole college scene but now in, in corporate you know the things that i'm being exposed to on the corporate level within the job industry is is it's amazing you know there there are people that i work with who who are i guess they they have good great backgrounds as far as the, the things that they 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 walk into the, the experiences that they or, or the the blessings that they have so now we get to see, or I get to see from, from my job, just, you know, the, the people that I work with, the things that they're able to do, the, the, the funds that they have, the, the different blessings that they're able to pour out to others, yeah. as far as us as well, you know, right. being, being big blessings to us. For sure. just, being, just being exposed to another side of life. It's, it's not just going to a job and just moping around. Like, you know, they, they actually love their job. And while loving their job, they're making great money. And exposing, been able, and I, I've been able to be exposed. We all been able to be exposed to to the the corporate side of seeing, you know, the blessings that come out of a great a great company or great organization. Yeah. So that that part, that piece of exposure is is great to me because now you look at it in the sense of, man, this is a whole other side than just coming to this to this warehouse or to this job and just going the the, don't, the normal day to day. Like we we get to act, I get to actually see, I get to actually experience how it feels to sit at the big the, the table with the big guys. So that's exposure to me. Yeah, yeah. So yo, what you got, Tom? 
So um, I, I'm, I'm going to tell a little story and, and it kind of, uh, I'll wrap it all up and bring it full circle. Okay. Um, when I, when I was younger, I had an opportunity to go to Seoul, South Korea to run in a uh, age group meet uh, 19 years and under. And um, I came from a, a, a family where I lived with my dad and, and he worked full time job, actually worked the same job for like 39 years. Um, mom working, all that stuff. Um, but I had a chance to go to uh, Seoul, South Korea uh, to run in an event. And um, not not to um, not to uh, discredit or or speak bad about what they did, but they actually put me on a plane to go about 16 hour flight with fifty dollars. And the reason why I, I bring that up is because they couldn't rationalize or they couldn't wrap their mind around how far South Korea was, and you know, being from the South, them never have gone in any place and, and things like that. And so I'm over there by myself uh, with a team that is, and, and, and so forth and so on. But like Jamie and, and both AJ said, it, my talent got me there. And then I'm seeing um, uh, Asian people for the first time and I'm eating different food and so forth and so on. And it just, it, it created a desire in me to want to see more. If this is what I'm seeing at 16, 17, um, by way of our talent, right. and that's what uh, we kind of bring together. For sure. um, I can only imagine how other people out there are living and so forth and so on. And, um, Across the board, I too uh, use my talent to go to college, and through college, um, I've been to probably thirty, maybe different states. Um, I've had a chance by way of my talent. Uh, I keep saying that because uh, we're all athletes, or former athletes, sure. and I think our, our drive is based in how well we, we or how good we want to be when we were we were, we were athletes. Mm -hmm. But uh, come bring it back full circle. Um, 20 different countries, um, I've eaten in palaces with heads of states and all that good stuff. A little old guy from the South, um, growing up um, right yeah, outside yeah. of, exactly, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And so I, I, I could probably write a book on, on the things that I've seen and, and had access to, and, but those things, I didn't just take it as a one-off. one, one -off. Um, Every time I, I went to a place like Monaco, I, now that's in my Rolodex, I can figure out how to become that guy, right. that guy who owns that two million dollar yacht and so forth and so on. And and again, that's what we're here to do. Give that give that inspiration back to the kids. Mm -hmm. And I, we 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 all feel like the younger we do it, the 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 more time they'll have to create their game plan and um, be successful. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and it's crazy. We we all separately have our own experience. We went to different places. Um, Tom went to North Carolina. Eddie went to uh, FAMU, Tallahassee. I went to Philly. But we all bring it together. We at the end of the day, we all have core you know, things at the same. We're from Ocala, Marion County, and we came up through the Ocala, Marion County uh, street. So you know, same uh, avenues. And we you know we have a passion for giving back. You know what I mean? We we know. Uh, I guess the things we could have had in place that could have helped us um, better, you know, our future. And we we did do with what we had. We did the best that we could, and we took it to the level that we could. But um, for us, it, it, it's making it um, for lack of better word, easier for yeah. these guys. You Probably know, give them the red tape for sure. You yeah. know, making their path to success. You know, um, that much easier. So um, what we're gonna do now? Um, we're gonna turn it around. And we, I mean, we're really just gonna. Start so honing into our summer. Um, we're in a position right now. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm surprised, but uh, the, the place that we are in, uh, um, or it's, it's been a blessing. We are very blessed. Um, to 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 have a vision, to to start something, and to see it manifest is, is truly a blessing. I give all honor to God. I give all praise to God, and I thank God for the position He has us in. Um, I know uh, the work that we're doing. He has room for more for us. But um, you know, us just going through the summer. You know, we have done a lot. You know, we have met a lot of people. We have put our kids in a lot in front of a lot of people. We have done a lot of things. And we're at a point right now where we're ending the summer and we're transitioning into the fall. So things are changing for us. So right now we just want to recap on the summer. Uh, like I said, um, just to give you a layout of how we're going to do it, we, we're going we're gonna to all give a dialogue on, you know, how we feel the summer was. And then um, so Tony will leave us and then we'll bring the kids on one by one. And they'll be able to tell we have a couple questions for them. And you can hear, you know, from them, their experiences and see what they learned. Um, so that that's really the beauty of what we're going to sit down and do right here. Um, so just getting started. Uh, and I'm not even going to start this one off. I'll let Tony, you, you I'll let you start it off. So just tell us about your, your experience this summer. Um, you know, us just where we are right now. And let me give you our title. So we never do the title thing because I don't feel nobody's more important than nobody right here at this table. We all put in work for this organization. Um, I feel that if something happened to me today, that they will lead this organization in the way it need to go. So, um, but just for uh, a business sake, you do have titles. So the title of this organization, I am the CEO. Um, Eddie's the president and Tony is our director of activities. But like I said, we all put in work the same in the same, uh, facets and different, you know what I mean? So we're a team, you know yeah. what I mean? We're, 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 
a great team at that. And we're, we're learning each other as we go. But um, so, Tony, just tell us a little about, you know, your experience this summer. Um, I guess you could say pros, con, whatever you want to say. Just tell us, you know, how you feel. I actually, there, there were absolutely no pro, um, no cons. Um, what, what, the first outing we had, uh, I knew that I had made a good decision. <laughs> and I say that because when Jamie first came to me and approached me with the idea, I, I I had no problem volunteering. I had no problem uh, being a part. I just didn't know to what extent or what capacity. Uh, but I, I jumped in, uh, cold water, everything, <laughs> all in. And um, since then, um, the way we've impacted these kids uh, has probably been some of the greatest moments of my life, including sports. And like I said, we all competed at the highest level. Um, I don't think there's any other gift, any greater gift than giving back and seeing uh, the kids respond to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, this summer, I really enjoyed, definitely enjoyed um, Pam and the uh, Blitch, Blitch uh, Plantation. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that experience, taking sure. the kids out there and seeing the animals, seeing the uh, farms and, tree and trees and all that stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> and watching Coast College uh, try to <laughs> not catch no fish, <laughs> <laughs> not let the kids out fish them. Yeah, yeah so the, 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 um, I guess if, if there was a prana or a a con or a negative, it, it, um, actually maybe not, not, not being a greater ambassador for the, uh, organization. Cause right now, j just with our presence and the things we did this summer, people are almost beating down the door trying to see how they can help mm -hmm. and not knowing how it was going to turn out and all that good stuff. I think, uh, early on, probably being a, a better ambassador myself mm -hmm. uh, for the organization and, and letting people know about this great um, thing that we're doing here. All right, cool. Eddie, you can go. And I should take cons. I don't even want to say con okay. anymore. Let's just take that out. No, I say no, con. No. Let's just talk about pros, no, pros. but yeah, pros. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, the, just, just being able to, to give back, man, I think that's something big that each, each Tony and, and Jimmy touched on. You know, a lot of people, when, when they, when they, when they, when they end up being successful, they leave their, their city or their state. And they take their talents to a whole other city or state and, and, and feed into other to a whole other community. But it's big that oh, yeah. for, for all three of us that we we actually have the passion to to come back to our community mm -hmm. where we started from to help raise our community up. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I can I can speak on it just because of leaving. I always we, we had the mindset. I always tell you, bro, I'm not going back to I'm not going back to Ocala. Right. But it's just something you know. It, it, we were all led by God. I believe this is led by God. This is formed by God. And now the passion is to come back home and give these kids the same, the, a better upbringing or show them, expose them to the things we were exposed to to help better their, their future. So for, for the summer, I just, it was very big, man. It's, I actually come home from, from Tallahassee every, every weekend. Uh, we all made sacrifices, but as, as far as for me, I come home every, every Saturday after work to make sure that I'm there Monday morning to, to, to just be around these kids because we see they're, they're enjoying it themselves. I mean, mm -hmm. to be able to go to the farm and, and uh, they were there uh, back to the fishing. Um, <laughs> some yeah. they, they they that was the first time fishing. All of them catching yeah, all, all of them. them. Yeah. All of them. Not only first fishing, time but fishing. catching fish. Yeah. yeah. So and they, they're catching and just to see the, the smiles on the face and for them to say, "I've never been fishing before, but I want to go again." Like man, that's that's priceless. And, and for me, I'm I'm glad. I'm grateful. You know, I'm, the team that we have, we we definitely just back to the same thing. Tony said. Tony said that. We, 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 we compete. So everything that we do, we yeah, do at a high level. Yeah. And we want to be the best at what we do. And you you it, it will show. Yeah. From from this point forward, it will mm -hmm. show the uh the amount of effort, time and and, and gratitude to, to everyone that's 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 uh you know supporting us. We, we we use all of that to feed into these kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and just piggybacking off all that and I mean they they are both all right. I mean it, it's just it, it's funny how things work. Um, some things you question a lot, but when we did this work, of uh, like Tom said from from day one, all right, okay, like you you, you reap the benefits of I guess the, the once you put things on paper when they start coming to wish and it, it just looks different. And um, once we got these group, uh, even the group we had, it was funny how that came together, how we seen them um, mesh together and start building relationships. Now they're you know they're in there right now. We hear them playing, but these guys you know they they all on the game together. They got group chats together. You know what I mean? We're Building, we're building a, 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 a fraternity, if you would say, you know, a fraternity in itself, but a support system. We always say we athletes. We want to build this a brotherhood. We want to build this like a sports team. We want it to feel like we want to build accountability amongst each other. We want to build, you know, discipline, um, teamwork. 
Yeah. And all those skills you learn in athletics, you want to instill these in these young men. Because at the end of the day, when they're in these school halls together, when they uh in these streets together, we want them to be able to say, no, that ain't it, bro. Yeah, like, nah, come on, that ain't how we cut different. We come over here. Let's go do this. That, that We don't need to be around that group. You know, accountability is one of the biggest things. We have kids in this day and time. They'll encourage their friends to do other things or they, they want to fit into the to the to the crowd. But we're being cut different. You know, that, that that's the opposite of what we are. You know, we, 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 we preach being unique in your own way. You, all these kids are different and we're going to hone into their skills and we're not telling them you have to go be a football player you, you the world is yours you can do whatever you want to do so just for this summer um just being able to see take these kids to these places and one of the biggest things and i don't know if y'all picked up on this but one of the biggest things for me um we pick these kids up and we take them home every time we interact with them we took them to the, you know these businesses but the biggest thing is for me is when we're riding in a car and they're able to the, the places we take take them they're able to uh react so when they seen team cold trucks riding on the road oh they're team cone they're team cone are we get past gas station they see them they're team cone are we go downtown passing uh city hall? oh that's city hall the mayor's over there or they, they're able to so when we talk about exposure you can't measure exposure the, the amount that you know it triggers in your brain i tell you and this is a um analogy i tell everybody once your family member when somebody you know get a car and you start seeing that car everywhere, you, you like, man, you, that mama got that car, my grandma got that car. But these cars been on the road every day. You been seeing these cars, all, but you wasn't aware of it. You wasn't exposed to it, so it wasn't on your brain. So now these kids are able to. All these things are on their brain, and so they're able to consciously know that they are be aware to all these things. So this summer, man, it's been a blessing. Um, these kids, we, I mean, like I said, if I would think of just a pro or something, we could just more time just we need more time to take them other places i'm pretty sure as we go further we'll get other people that jump on board other businesses that want to join hands right. with us and um and even like you said more time but you know in the sense of this whole the, the, the time that we're in the pandemic yeah. being able to still expose these kids mm -hmm. and give them a great summer the so pandemic. that they can go back to school not only school but to their families and then to school mm -hmm. and tell them about a great summer that they had being exposed to things that they never seen before or heard of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you said, there's a pandemic going on right now. We could be in our houses. We can be, um, you know, close up to our families and, and you know, not um, taking this step, being out in the community, still trying to make our, our community better during these times. You know, these are these. This is a, a, a just a, a pandemic. You know what I mean? This is a crazy times. But we have done all this work you've seen us do during these times. So, um, like and, I said, and been safe doing it. Being safe doing it. You know, and we we do we do case safe. We keep our hands set tight and mask on deck. But um, and I mean, it's it's just it's fun. It's I've been having a, a fun this whole summer. These kids have been having fun. I asked them the other day. Me and Tony actually had to get on them a little bit. But we're asking, what would you have been doing? right now if you wasn't with us all of them home not doing that so we you know what i mean and we get that get that but we want them to you know appreciate what we're doing because it, it gets to the point where it's like man when i'm with these guys i you know they they let me you know i'm exposed to all this i can get i can do this i can go to mcdonald's and get a big mac you know what i mean they, they you know we let them do the things like that because we don't think we should limit them if you can eat it you got to eat it though no you know you're not about to play over the big mac don't waste it but if you can eat it you know order you a big mac not saying you know they should be able to do that with their parents or not but at cut different that's what we believe in you know what i mean so um this summer has been tremendous so uh, how we gonna play? So I think we are gonna bring DJ out first, but I want Tone. I want you to no, 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 no. So if you are uh, what I'm about to say, if you have any last remarks, um, and like I said, man, uh, again, we really appreciate you being a part of this team, Tony. Um, I'm pretty sure you know this might open doors to you being back on here plenty more times. This is not gonna be the last time y'all see him, but um, like I said, his part is pivotal in what we're doing. Um, even the space that we had this summer, I mean, that was a blessing, you know, for him being a part, him being able to work that out for us. So uh, like I said, we're a working team, you know, we we able to help each other, out, bless each other. In Different ways and that's what a team does so i mean if you had any any remarks you want to say before you leave or anything you want to you know say no, before? i'll just leave uh leaving with this um you don't know what you don't know yeah and that kind of um highlights why we do it yeah, yeah. you know what i mean if the kids were never exposed to the things that we showed them this summer they probably would never be exposed to it mm -hmm. or even know that some of those things existed right and um as, as an adult, um, actually, me being the oldest, he's, he's the oldest out of the brother. Yeah. Uh, me being the eldest statesman here, um, I didn't realize some of the things that are available to us right there in Marion County, mm -hmm. and we definitely want to uh, give up, give our kids the opportunity. 
to see that much more. So yeah. no, I, I thank you all guys. Yeah. I thank you all. Uh, thank you all for uh, this happening. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's let's uh thank those people on the list. So we do have a list of the people uh we met. And uh, we'll let Tony read it off. So we thank everybody that we thank interacted so with this much. summer. I'm pretty sure we got everybody, but if we mention your name, uh, just you know, charge it to our head and not our heart. So uh, we have a list, and so we're just thanking the people that you know we yeah, met so, with. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, there, there's been plenty of people who uh, said they appreciate what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, thank us for what we're doing for the community. But these people actually either were uh, guest speakers of ours or, or donors or things like that, and we really want to uh, uh, show them some appreciation. So we have uh, Chris Higman. Um, Chris is uh, from the fire department. We have, uh, of course, Mayor Ginn, um, who helped us uh, make this truck uh, sure. possible. Right. Um, we have Dewan Thomas, uh, a close uh, friend of Cut Different. Uh, we have Chief Alexander, mm -hmm. uh, fire chief. Uh, Vincent Vaughn, my, one of my former athletes, who's a uh, Yale graduate, now working on Wall Street. We also have Team Cone. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to uh, thank them. I, I really enjoyed that experience and seeing their facility mm -hmm. and all that they do. Uh, uh, again, Pam in uh blitz uh plantation mm -hmm. we greatly appreciate For you sure. and your uh hospitality love you Pam. And, um <laughs> and all the things that uh yeah, you, you all have done for us uh, this summer uh we have willie over at biznet we greatly appreciate um uh the having you as a resource and the things that uh you've instilled in us mm -hmm. and told us about we have uh mr keanu neal uh, football player who uh, came to talk to the kids. Atlanta Falcons. And, uh, yeah, Atlanta Falcons. So mm -hmm. we appreciate him. And again, all those who donated this summer, we, we greatly appreciate that. And we're, we're definitely open for more donations yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. From, from those who are seeing this podcast. So again, um, I thank you. I, I, I'm glad to be here. And um, we look forward to um, seeing you all and, and, and seeing what we do in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just want to throw two names on top of that. So Michelle Stone, thank you. And um uh, Phil Wright for sure. Thank you, Phil Wright. You, you Phil. did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Phil, you came out, and uh, we definitely appreciate you and um, Mr. Ponder as well, Derek Ponder. So just throwing y'all names out there, and I'm pretty sure it's more people. Thank you for all your support. So you know, we, we we appreciate all the support, and we'll we'll keep doing this work, and we'll keep building relationships and, and making it bigger and better. So um, uh, with further ado, we're gonna have our first guest come. Oh, well, not our first. Well, yeah, our first uh child guest come on. Um, and we'll see him in a little bit. DJ. DJ. Yep. Right. So get DJ. <laughs> <laughs> 